Hi, I am Dr. Vidhuvarsha. Today we will discuss antimicrobial stewardship. So definition, it is defined as coordinated intervention that is designed to improve the usage of antibiotics. That is mainly through their dosing duration of therapy and by route of administration. Next is the practical clinical definition of antimicrobial stewardship. It consists of four rights that is right antibiotic in right patient at right time with right dose route and duration okay so this is the practical clinical definition of antibiotic stewardship that is right antibiotic in right patient at right time with right dose route and duration of treatment so they have planned active strategies. There are 10 active strategic plan. First is prospective audit with feedback intervention. So prospective audit with feedback intervention. This is carried out by an external reviewer that is an ex uh, external reviewer who is an expert in this so it is an external review of your antibiotic therapy by an expert second is pre-authorization that is you have to get an approval prior to use of certain antibiotics that is higher antibiotics so it is to get approval prior to use of certain antibiotics. Third is facility specific treatment guidelines. The facility specific treatment guidelines it is based mainly on local epidemiology that is in your tertiary care center or in your primary center you should frame a guide certain guidelines to most common uh, uh, infections like uh, community acute pneumonia, urinary tract infection, skin and soft tissue infections. You have to frame a guideline that is which antibiotic to use first, the next second line and the third line. That is meaning of facility specific treatment guidelines but that is should be based on your local epidemiology that is which infection or which bacteria or which organism is most prevalent in your environment. So that is third is facility specific treatment guidelines. Fourth is antibiotic timeouts time out so this is carried out mainly by the provider it is a provider led that is provider is a treating physician provider led reassessment of continuing the need and choice of antibiotics if this antibiotic is not working for this patient you have to immediately change to an another antibiotic or whether to continue or whether to stop the antibiotics so it is an antibiotic timeout it is a provider led reassessment of Continuing the need of, I mean need and choice of antibiotics. Fifth is antibiotic cycling. So what is antibiotic cycling? 
is refers to a scheduled removal and substitution of specific antimicrobial class the same as a like antibiotic time order it is mainly based on your uh, culture sensitivity okay so it refers to scheduled removal scheduled removal is this antibiotic is used only for like seven days so seven days of treatment like for example uh, in a typhoid patient or enteric fever patient that is after a febrile phase for about 24 hours you will switch on to oral drug that oral drug should be continued for at least seven days so that refers to scheduled removal after seven days you should remove that drug so it is a scheduled removal and substitution specific antimicrobial class sixth it is antimicrobial order forms so antimicrobial order forms this minimizes the antimicrobial consumption through the use of automatic stop orders so what is automatic stop orders is that is example in perioperative prophylaxis that is before any surgery you are prescribing a drug only for a two days like IV antibiotics for two days after that your scheduled stop that is automatic stop order should be implemented in your treating facilities that is antimicrobial order forms so this minimizes the antimicrobial consumption okay that is automatic stop orders example in perioperative prophylaxis seventh it is pharmacokinetic monitoring So what is pharmacokinetic monitoring is checking the serum level it is both pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic properties of an antimicrobial agents to optimize the drug, drug efficacy that should be based on the organism or site of infection and patient characteristics so it uh, may, mainly by the serum concentrations that is within the therapeutic range or not you are going to assess the drug efficacy by the pharmacokinetic monitoring okay eighth dose and duration optimization so optimized it is dose and duration optimization it is mainly based according to their renal function hepatic function uh, severity of infection and therapeutic drug level monitoring so the standard antimicrobial doses should be included in empirical therapy that is we are giving antimicrobial dose like uh, for example in our enteric fever uh, we give cefixim at the dose of 20 mg per kg per day in two divided doses that is a standard antimicrobial dose that is included in an empirical therapy that is optimized according to renal function hepatic function severity of infection fourth by therapeutic drug monitoring ninth is switching of the drugs from IV to oral switch So the important criteria for this IV to oral switch is includes the patient should be afibrine for a period of 24 to 48 hours. So oral antibiotic which you are prescribing it should has a good oral bioavailability that should improve the clinical status and that there should be an intact gastrointestinal drug that is GI should be normal. So this enhanced bioavailability allows the conversion to oral therapy once a patient meets the defined clinical criteria. So this IV to oral switch what are the advantages? It decreases the length of 
decreases the length of stay decreases the cost and decreases the risk of hospital acute infection so the ninth is iv to oral switch 10th is de escalation so antimicrobial prescription that should be always reviewed at 48 to 72 hours your antimicrobial prescription so it should be reviewed at 48 to 72 hours and then you de escalate to narrow spectrum agent or you can escalate based on culture sensitivity so these are the 10 active strategies that is taken in antimicrobial stewardship so for an revision basis i will tell you the points once again so antimicrobial stewardship it is defined as a coordinated intervention that is designed to improve the usage of antibiotics in the form of dose duration and route of administration there are four rights so what are these right antibiotic in right patient at right time with right dose route and duration so 10 active strategies first is prospective audit with feedback intervention this is carried out by an external expert next is pre-authorization to get approval prior to use of certain antibiotics third is facility specific gui treatment guidelines should be uh, implemented in all the treating facilities fourth is antibiotic timeout that is mainly uh, may based by based upon by the treating physician next is antibiotic cycling whether to remove and substitute an other antimicrobial class next is antimicrobial order forms that is you should automatically stop the antibiotics that is based on your time schedule example perioperative prophylaxis seventh is pharmacokinetic monitoring that is monitoring the serum levels that is therapeutic range of your drug next is dose and duration optimization that is mainly based on renal function hepatic function severity of infection and therapeutic drug monitoring ninth one is switching of uh, drugs that is iv drugs to oral drugs mainly based on that patient should be af febrile for about 24 to 48 hours the advantages are it decreases the hospital stay decreases the cost decreases the risk of hospital acute infection tenth is de-escalation of drugs once you prescribe an antibiotic that should be reviewed at 48 to 72 hours then you can de-escalate to narrow spectrum agent or you can escalate based upon the culture sensitivity in example in pus culture sensitivity or um, uh, discharge that is uh, in the tracheobronchial in ET tube you have inserted ET tube in a child uh, you, have to, you can take a pus culture from that and you can escalate or de-escalate based upon your culture thank you have a nice day